It's a cold and blustery morning on Maryland's eastern shore. Perfect weather for some friendly competition between men and their canine companions. This isn't your run-of-the-mill high society dog show. Here, these dogs are all business. That's something I do routinely when I train and run. You know, same thing every day for consistency. Larry Hindman, a wildlife biologist with Maryland's DNR, is an avid hunter. In recent years, his yellow lab teal has been his hunting partner and his gun dog competition teammate. They, along with a dozen other teams, are competing in the Maryland Retriever Gun Dog Championship. Come! Sponsored by the Maryland Waterfowlers Association, this annual competition tests dogs in situations they'd likely encounter on a hunt. They'll chase after two different kinds of retrieves, marked and blind retrieves. Marston Jones of Cambridge is one of two judges. Together, they'll pit each dog against the standard for top speed and efficiency to determine a winner. Every little mistake, in this case, whistles to direct the dog. That's a deduction that brings their score down. The dog that has the least number of whistles and goes directly to the birds is going to be our Maryland Gun Dog Champion. The event draws teams from across Maryland and neighboring states. The competition's tough, and it takes practice to stay competitive. That's why on any given Sunday, and especially a week before competition, Butch Chambers is out in the field. His Talbot County farm becomes a training ground for dogs. We can run from right here. This will be perfect. Okay. You know, all the ponds here were built to train dogs with. Can you believe that? How you know, crazy are we? <laughs> Gun dog training takes advantage of the dog's natural ability to retrieve, whether it's a rubber toy or a down bird. I like seeing a dog that has the intense desire to want to retrieve. And for a hunting situation, it's a conservation effort because the dogs leave very few crippled or dead birds in the marsh or wherever you happen to be hunting. They find most of the birds and therefore we don't waste them. Heel. Heel. Training these dogs from pups to where they are now, like Teal, she's four and has hunted for three seasons. There's a lot of satisfaction in taking that uh, young pup that has the genetics to retrieve and the desire to retrieve and molding it into a dog that you can handle and recover down birds. Sit. But if you think this sport is nothing but old men and their dogs, guess again. Gun dog competitions are about to get an influx of young blood, from a 12-year-old wearing pink gloves and a ponytail. Gabriella Galante Hi. is an up-and-coming dog handler. Wait. My dad, when he started training dogs, I helped him a lot, and now I run dogs in like field trials. When he gets to the pile, blow. Excellent. That's good. 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 You see what he's doing there? He's listening to you. You did a great job. Receive him on your right. Heel. 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 Okay. Good job. That's right. Exactly. Okay. Okay. I tell you what, she's my daughter, so I'm, I'm partial, but I, I really believe that she has, and I've seen her around do dogs and horses, and she has a special talent. It's cool because I'm kind of like a kid, and to have a dog listen to me, that's cool. 
Gabrielle is leading the way for a whole new generation of gun dog enthusiasts. Okay, guns up, let's go. Back at the competition, after the initial rounds, several dogs advance, others do not. Larry Hindman and Teal have failed to make it to the final round. Our team, and uh, she'll, uh, like I say, uh, I'm the only impediment in her achieving uh, her maximum potential, <laughs> so I'll get better. <laughs> Now, with only a handful of teams left, the competition heats up. So here we are, last test. This is for all the marbles, sir. <laughs> the Gun Dog Championship. Jack Scanlon and his dog, Stella, are making a run for it. We're watching plant the blind, bud. <laughs> Butch is still in the hunt with his dog, Quinn. Quinn. Competition and hunting really require the same skills of the dog. It's just in the competition, you, you're maybe a little bit more extreme most of the time. Sometimes in hunting, it's very extreme, though. So we're trying to give the dogs practice on executing those skills that they're going to need for hunting. But the last team to run, Jeff Riebling and Tank, is on target with each cast. Marston tallies the scores, and... The winner is number four, Tank. Owned and handled by Jeff Riebling. An out-of-stater, I might have. <laughs> Congratulations. Very good. Where's he from? He's from Thomasville, Pennsylvania. Steeler Wherever fan. that is. No, Steeler fan. fan. Redskins. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff's secret to winning is teamwork. Well, you have to kind of develop a bond. I mean, everybody here today has done that or they wouldn't be at this level. And, uh, you know, it's from there, the dog has to trust you as much as you trust the dog. Yep. Good. Good. He's sleeping in the bed tonight? He always does. <laughs> and for Michael and Gabriella, the father-daughter duo, they have their sights on next year. I missed it this year. It's the first year I've missed it in about I think we've been doing it for five years now. But I'm looking forward to next year. We've got a competitor on our hands. <laughs>